Uh, here as we continue through every game, the Chiefs, speaking of that win in overtime, they are back home now to play the Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks, who once uh, were in great shape to maybe win the NFC West and certainly be in the playoffs, have now seen the division go away. We talked a week ago about them playing Thursday night football. They lost the game to the 49ers. The 49ers clinched the division. Well, now the Seahawks are are trying to scratch and stay in the NFC playoff picture. They are 10.5-point underdogs at Kansas City. The total is 49 in this one. Um, all right, Chris Farley, I'm to you. What's the official play here on Mahomes and the Chiefs at home? Mahomes and the Chiefs still chasing the possible number one seed maybe in the AFC, playing Seattle. Any thoughts here? Yeah, it's a it's a pretty straightforward thing for me. I have this game a six and a half, seven in favor of Kansas City. And I, while I think that the Chiefs are a much better team than the Seahawks and they're finally back at home, uh, they've shown a lot of struggles with closing out these games, especially by distance, right? It's just not what the Chiefs are doing this year. We saw one time impressively against the 49ers on the road and that was a fantastic response spot after losing to the Bills. Uh, but because they're squeaking away with these wins, I, ju I just I don't know if this necessarily sets up phenomenally well for them. They're finally back at home. That's a good thing. But you talk about desperate, right? The Seattle Seahawks now off a few losses. They are thinking about this game like they have to go in there and win. And whenever you have a team that's thinking that it's plus 10 and a half, and they probably don't think that they're the inferior team, even though they would be wrong in that aspect. Uh, I think they're at least going to try really hard and keep this game close. I also like it from a matchup perspective, right? You can run all over Seattle. We've seen that in recent weeks. The Chiefs are not a run-first operation. Maybe they utilize that, but I'm, I'm a little skeptical about their run blocking, too. It just hasn't been as consistent this year. Uh, you know, they haven't seen a ton of big gains. So I think Seattle can keep this one, again, close to the vest. Geno Smith can have some success. We've had quarterbacks, and we've seen quarterbacks like Davis Mills throw all over that Kansas City secondary, right? It's not its not what it used to be. So Seattle can have some offensive success in this one. As long as they avoid a few egregious mistakes, this one is probably going to stay within 10 points. So you give me 10.5 at BetUS, which is a really nice line, I will take it. All right, interesting here for the Seahawks, and you see this again. We were talking about this on uh, Three Dog Thursday. Seattle is 0-5 ATS in their last five games. However... The Chiefs, something's got to give here. The Chiefs are 0-3 in December, all as favorites, and they're giving 10.5 points in this one. Uh, very interesting. Scott Kellen, any thoughts here? Has midnight struck on Geno Smith a little bit, too, with the with the bad throws, with not being able to get them in the end zone? Uh, Mahomes and company highly motivated at home, trying to, trying to chase the AFC number one seed. Any thoughts here, Scott? I saw a stat earlier tonight. I have not double-checked this, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be close to what I say. Uh, something to the effect where Kansas City in their last 13 games is 10-3 and three straight up, but like 2-10-1 and one against the spread, which just kind of reflects, you know, everything they're doing. They're being asked to lay a whole bunch of points, and, you know, they're just simply not, not covering that number. So it kind of plays into everything, you know, Chris is talking about. Um, you know, one of the uh, – the viewers there had uh, you know met, made the mention that the half point is very important. Obviously, it is. Uh, ten and a half is great. Uh, and Chris was you know commenting before the show. You know, if you play dogs, you can get some pretty nice numbers here at Bet you Bet US as well. So uh, you know, just keep that in mind when you're on a dog as well. I don't really have a play here. Uh, I do have a lean to the over a little bit, but it's going to be like 18 degrees, so that worries me a little bit. Um, and I make the number kind of where it's at. And, you know, there will be no Tyler Lockett. I'm pretty sure of that for Seattle. So that, you know, that's a little worrisome. Mm -hmm. I think Walker will go as, as a running back, but um, they are going to be missing one of their key receivers. But, you know, somehow, some way, Kansas City just imagine, may, you know, um, finds a way to keep everybody in the game. And, and Seattle can move the ball here a little bit. So they've struggled. Their offense has really struggled against the really good defenses. But you take away the, the really good defenses, the San Francisco's, the Tampa Bay's, you know, they, they moved the ball pretty well. We'll see, you know, what that means without Lockett. But, um, you know, it's a, it's a big number. Uh, I would not be surprised if Seattle comes in under the, under the number. Chris Farley, any quick thoughts here if no official play uh, on this one? Oh, I already had Seahawks plus 10 and a half. My, uh, my bad. I'm sorry. I lost track there. You already did that. He was just seeing so if you we... wanted to change it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm good with no it. change on that. And we do need to lock him in officially because he did give us an elaborate reason why he likes Seattle in this particular spot uh, here. 
Uh, so before we move on, let's put him Seattle plus 10 and a half. And that half point may be a big deal. And again, Kenneth Walker is questionable. Tyler Lockett is already ruled out, Scott, to your point for this game uh, because of injury. Will that make a difference? Chris is undaunted. Forgive me, Brother Farley. You are taking the Seahawks, and you did have that for us uh, on that. All right. 